Hello. Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to the Gabriel Phone Hard and Trading Series and thank you for choosing the K tutorials. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed started a new topic which is BDM, okay, which is virtual data modeling. We have discussed about BDM, what is this BDM and what are the use. So it's a gold standard introduced by SAP in S4 HANA. It's like an annotation to standardize the development of CDS views. And the annotation will start from enter it BDM. Okay. So inside this BDM, we are having three types. First is private view, interface view, and the convection view. Convention view. What are these? We will discuss one by one in our coming up session. So in the today's session, guys, we will discuss about these private views. What are these private views? Okay. So what are these private views? So as the name suggests, this is these are private views. Okay. So first thing which we should know as a developer view as like all these private views, all the private views, all the standard private views, whichever are there in the system given to us by SAP, all the private views. I start with this. Look, guys, these are also a, like serious views, okay? But these are some gold standard rules, okay? Gold standard, go, standard, uh, what is that? Standard serious view, which is given to us from the SAP. So, like all these, all the private views start with the naming convention, okay? Convention called P underscore. So, what is the naming convention for this guys? Whatever the, if you will see any standard view, okay, and that view is starting from P underscore. So that view is your private view. Okay, so if let me log into the Eclipse system once, okay, just give me a moment, guys. So we will see what are this private view. Okay, one second. Just give me a moment, guys. Let me log into the system so that I will show you the live demo. Okay. Just once again, let it be login. So this may be your inter interview question also. Sometimes I ask some candidates, what is this P underscore? They go confused over there. So what does the P underscore starts with? It's like a they are like a private views. Okay. So P is a is a private, okay? okay? Let me launch it. One second, guys. Yeah, it's opening. So whatever the view is there in the system, if we will see any view. P underscore. So that is your private view. Yeah, we are successfully logged into the system. Now, yeah, yeah, enter the password. To open any view, as you know, like to open any object, what is the sort code? Sort code is control shift A. Okay. I will press control shift A. So if I will enter P underscore, so you will see these are multiple views. So these are all our private views. Okay. There is a definition wherever the data definition is there. Okay. So these are all our private views, guys. I hope this one is clear to hear key. What is this P underscore means? Let's go more about this CDP CDS view, then we will discuss about this more. Okay. So don't confuse with this. Okay. P stands for private views. Okay. So now the question comes up is can I use private SOT view? P underscore. Okay. Whatever they start, it starts with P underscore to build my own views. For example, we have seen a concept of extension view. For example, what is the extension view, guys? If you haven't watched my video of extension view, go and watch that video also. For example, what is an extension view? For example, I have a view which is fetching our data from a model table. Uh, it is uh, fetching only material number and 
irritated by. Now, this peak that is a, for example, I have a view, view one. Okay, so what is this view is doing? It is fetching the data from Mara table, which is material number and ER name. Now, this is a, let's say, standard view, okay? Standard view, okay? Now, I want to create one more view. If I want to consume this view only, I want to see material type, okay? What I will do, I will extend this view into my view. So, that is what our private uh, extended view. But now, tell me, if this is my standard view, I can't change this view. And this view, inside this view, I am extending this. So, this view is completely dependent on which view? This view. If something will change there, then it will also affect. So, now the first question is, can I use private SAP view T underscore to build my own view? What do you think, guys? Like, as this is a private view, some of you will think as a, it's a private view, so we cannot use this. But it's incorrect. We can use this private view. Yes, we can use these private views to build our own views. Okay. It's possible, guys. Yes. Then by the hell SAP has made it as a private view. What is the concept of SAP of making it as a private view? What is the meaning? Because the private word means, as all of you know, it's private. Okay. So it means you cannot use this. No, guys, that's not, this is incorrect. So you cannot use this. Why? Why you cannot use it? Just now you will say, sir, just now you said, hey, you are saying hey, you can use this private view, but why can't we use this? We cannot use this because SAP does not guarantee that these views will not change. No, we cannot use these views because SAP doesn't guarantee that these views will not change in future. In future, in a destructive view. Okay, what does this mean, guys? Is this clear? Understand this line, okay? SAP does not guarantee that these views will not change in future in a destructive way. Suppose, let's say <laughs> we are having this as a private view, P underscore, okay? This view is having MACNAR and ER name field, and let's say we are having some other fields also, okay? And we are using this view, we are showing this view exposing this view into our view too. Now, what happened is, now we are using here the private view to build our own custom view. Let's say this is my custom view. So, we are using this private view into to create my custom view. Okay. So, we build our own view. Let's say custom view. Okay. I will lead on over, over the private view. Something I built it now, okay? So I have just added one more field, which is MATNA, okay? Now, as of part of my ex view exposure, and then maybe I build the old data service on this, okay? My field on this, then I am exposing this on theory. And then I build a Fourier. And these fields, which are the fields are there in this now is, is MATNAR, ER name, and MTR. Okay. So these views, okay. Now, when the upgrade happened to the next version of S4, when the upgrade happened from the SAP side, what will happen? Let's say as what SAP have done, they have deleted this field ER name from this from this view. Now tell me what happens when a field has been deleted from the underlying P view. P view means private view, which we are using in our custom view. Okay. So the private view means it's not that you cannot use it. I have seen, in fact, some people copying paste from like some either, either, other. okay. So the thing is, look here, I'm exposing this private view to our custom view. 
but here i am iterating this into our query okay query app i also created using the by exposing this here view but now this field is deleted but what will happen to my query app right it will start giving me dumps okay so that's why sap said don't use base view because i can do some changes in future okay i can upgrade this oh, oh, sorry up whenever i i will upgrade i can do some changes into this uh, private views so that's why they have came up with the approach which is known as they called this view as a private views is this clear guys so we cannot use this so sap does not guarantee that these views will not change in future so if you will still use this then it's very dangerous for you okay your manager can come up to you and say hey what do you have done into our into a production system is this stuff giving the dumps and all okay so never ever use this private views okay so then you will say which views i should use so you should go with other views types which is called as interview interface view or you can say it as a consumption views okay so that interface view we guys we will discuss in our next coming up session so if i will show you here let's select any view okay as it's not important for us because we have never used this as i told you guys look here bdm at the rate bdm so this is a whatever this is our virtual data modeling so private is equals to true i hope this one is clear to everyone guys okay and just have a look again on this session okay and then in the next session guys we will discuss about this interface view what is this private view guys so these are the, by which what is the naming convention p underscore okay i hope this one is clear guys then which view we will use the view which we will be using is our interface views that we will discuss in our next session that's all for this session guys have a good day bye bye